Well, quite clearly, the um, Valka Castle dive was a success. And barely managed it, but I finally found the fish we wanted. And we found a lot of other treasure, so, um... Yeah, hey guys, it's Glock3, and welcome to this video of Let's Play Endless Ocean 2. This part is being made, like, just after the part with Thanatos and the guitar. Hey, look! Look! The latest diving company ratings just came out. Oh, right, you don't know what I'm talking about. An independent organization rates all the diving companies around the world. Look at our rating! <laughs> My company rating is now 2. I don't know if that's good, bad, or... Yeah. Cool. We've dropped the charts. Thanks so much for helping with all those requests. Nara Nara is up there in the world ratings. We've hit the big time. Cool. cool. Well, basically, my plan for this video, or potentially videos, um, is to just do the deep hole thing. Um, I'm making this just after the Thanatos thing, just because the diving guide request will go away soon. So. And that one with the Valka Castle was just about to run out, so, you know, I had to do that one. And so I did. Um, I'm going to appraise all the treasure we found in the last few bits. Appraisal for 820. Yup. There we go. Okay. Mercury bottle. Good, good. Japanese box. Excellent. Toy ring. Crap. Imperial treasure. Awesome. Copied painting. Not bad. Iron ingot. Not bad. You know, you're really turning into a first-rate salvager. We should go into business together. You're finally learning that. Woo! Salvage level increased again! I still don't know what it does. <laughs> Woohoo! I'm not going to, don't worry. That's what we're going to do in this video. Um, so, if I'm just going to make certain I know all of what happens at Deep Hole. So we've got uh, Finding Nancy's scissors and sealed away. And there's also apparently a Mori eel at the bottom with a ring in its mouth. So that's what we're going to do in this part. We're going to take that diving ride request at Deep Hole, not you, GG. Come on, why aren't we at Cortica River yet? My salvager senses tingling, man. I know there's something there. Your salvager is coming along in leaps and bounds, kids. I have a real sweet title for you. Oh, cool. Huh, so you get titles from him for diving. That's pretty cute. So, where's the Anne? What do you say? Yes, yes, yes. So, we've now got... Ah! Two people who want to go to Deep Hole. Well, that's okay. If I don't manage to do something with Renaud, I can do it with lots of space. So, that's awesome. Um... Yeah, I'm going to have to do some clever editing. I think if I wanted to get it in one video, but so I doubt I'm going to in the end. But hey, we can always dream. Hi there, I'm Renaud. Let's get out there and dive. I read about this in a diving magazine, and I have to see one. White margin unicorn fish. You can find that, right? Possibly. I'm discussing with you and shaking your hand. Thanks. Let's get started on the tour. Impatient man. Still, I suppose that's helpful with the YouTube time limit. Um, we need more people to be rushed like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we need no time limit either way, infant. Mm. So, ah, this is a good place apparently for just anything really. Right, deep hole, deep hole, deep hole, deep hole. Yes, let's get diving indeed. I'm going to try and fill in the map, obviously, as per usual. Because, you know, that's just what you do. It's the done thing, as it were. Yeah, I'm going to need to do the map for this one, I think. Right, coming up on Deep Hole. Um, so... I don't really remember Deep Hole all that much. Because we've only been to it once, and there was that terrifying shark incident. Not as fucking scary as Thanatos, though. That was just... Ugh. Still haven't got over that. It happened, like, ten minutes ago or something. <gasps> New dolphins! New dolphins! Or is it the same dolphins? Is it old dolphins? It's new dolphins! 
specific white sided dolphin. That's his Q. Uh, map, that's the one. Sorry, just gonna go around the perimeter and fill out the map before we do anything else. Um, this is all that you're gonna miss when I do stuff off screen. I swear, this is. I mean, I might get some funny little dialogues when you find certain fish or whatever, but. Even then, it's barely gonna be worth seeing. Okay, I think we can't get that weird little bit there, so we're just gonna have to live without it. Because I think it'll just come off anyways. Good, good. Um. So yeah, let's see. I'm just gonna make sure I remember all of them. Most of all, I want to remember Nancy's scissors. Actually, no, most of all I want to remember the fish she wants me to see. But I seem to think that was a pretty easy one to see. I think it was like just in there. In general, really, so. No real problems there. You know, I'm kind of worried. Because I keep thinking I hear this, um, the Song of Dragons. It's, it's bleaking me. No, it's really weird. I just keep thinking I hear it, like, because I've got the audio way turned down, so I don't even know what song is currently playing. But, um, no, I just keep thinking I hear the Song of Dragons. It's, ugh. It's haunting me. Yeah, I suppose I should show you some fish as well, shouldn't I? Yes, it is. It's a cloud to catch shark if he troubles. Ooh, it's not a cloud to catch shark, it's a Japanese bullhead shark. They were a lot bigger in the last game. <laughs> Those Japanese always making things smaller. If you catch my drift. Um, there's not really a drift to catch, I suppose. It's just stating that as of late, generally with the Japanese, though in most, to be fair, in most businesses, they're trying to make things a lot more compact as of late to make them more manageable thus making them more appealing to the target audience the white really makes it stand out I'm sure it does good sir I'm sure it does this itty, this itty bitty ones <gasps> ah surprise surprise Ray surprise Sweeney ah only about maximum of five people are gonna get that if even five probably only two and I'm one of them yeah, here's your unicorn fish. Okay, there's one done. Hooray, we're going... Oh, my. Is that... What the hell is that thing? It's quite imposing when you see it. Giant grouper. There's a lot of giant things in this game. I mean... Ah. Hello. Sorry, um... Yeah, I don't think we've actually met any of them in the game playthrough yet, although you probably have now. Um, depends on when they upload this. Giant Grotto. I'm suspicious and terrified, if I'm honest. Because it's a tiny space and it's all dark. Ah. You know, for Giant Grotto, this really isn't particularly impressive, this a giant fish but that's it it's barely like a good name for it surely it should just be called like the grotto what has a fish in it and isn't exactly that impressive and such I'm really lost here um but it's still dark enough for me to be scared that's hilarious well no not especially scared just sort of on edge somewhat um, by which I mean, I'm right on the edge of the sofa. Um, and I'm almost pissing myself. Not quite, though. Deep dome. Here we go. There's meant to be a rock blocking something somewhere here. Here's a new thing. Singular banner fish. That's cool. Apparently there's a big rock. Here it is. Hmm. Well, I have no ideas, and Patario doesn't seem to want to look at it, so... That's a bit lame. Apparently there's a moray eel... ...down at the bottom. Which either implies... ...something's gone wrong... Oh, it shines like that! Um... Yeah, I wish I knew as well, if I'm going to think of it. I knew I wouldn't let you down. Or you knew I wouldn't let you down. Same difference, really. 
So yeah, um, unless I'm doing editing, which I expect I will, because my computer has been kind of lame. Uh, this is the end of the first part, and yes, but obviously I'm still recording because we haven't found everything yet. We haven't even found all. We haven't even found Nancy's scissors. Come to think of it, should multi-sensor fool them? 